think around 1971-72, I bought this little Daiwa reel, and as you can see, I have took it completely apart. I got nuts and bolts and washers and screws and spools and string. But it was all gummed up. It's been laying out there in front of that pontoon boat for a couple of years. No, longer than that. But I thought I'd take a minute and share the story of this little die wall with you. I guess we hadn't been married too awful long, 71, 72, something like that. I got the notion she would like fishing. And one of the things I bought her was this little Daiwa reel, some mini reel, mini casting reel. I was really impressed with it. I think I paid like $30 for it back then. She took offense that I bought her a bird. I don't know if it was her birthday or what a holiday it was, but I bought it for a gift for her. She not only didn't like it, she was insulted that I would give her a rod and reel. I reckon she wanted a bouquet of flowers or something. So I knew right then I'd never get her interested in doing a whole lot of fishing. She will get out there and catch crappies and stuff as long as I take them off the hook. But she's not into sports and rods and reels and stuff. But I thought I'd clean this booger up and see if I can't get it working again. Not much of a story. It's the moral of the story is don't buy your wife a die wall. <laughs> I don't know what gear to put, what grease to put in these gears. So we're going with just a little bit of Vaseline. Let's stick it in here with a toothpick. That ought to be enough. Too much, just make a mess. And again, they had a lot of gunk in there. It was mostly dirt. What are you supposed to look at rod and reel with? I don't know. But I think gears need grease, so we got some grease on the gears in this booger bear. Now we got to try to put her back together. I didn't really look how it come apart. Okay, that seems to fit pretty good right there. Got one screw in there. Guess I better not tighten it until I get the other one started. Hope we get all the washers back in the right locale. When I picked this thing up, it didn't reel with it too. It was all sticky and gummy and didn't even want to turn. I cleaned it out with WD-40 air hose. Scraped, poked at it, trying to clean all that old dried grease out. Put the Vaseline to her and wiped it down a little bit. We'll know in a minute if it turns. I'm not going to try to get everything put together. 
Daiwa, made in Japan. Make some pretty good stuff over there. Years ago, wasn't long after the war, Japan was getting back on their feet. They manufactured, they were like China is now. They were making all kinds of little cheap stuff shipping to the United States, all over the world. And uh, it, it was kind of a, thing that you, an expression, made in Japan didn't mean very much, but everything they sent over here had that road on it, made in Japan. That ain't true these days, they make some pretty good stuff. Ah, I guess those screws are tight enough. The button works. That's cool. Oh, it's not stiff anymore. Vaseline might be doing the trick, then again, the brake might not work, drag might not work where the toot would, um, let's see, this, this, I don't think this would have any grease, I can always take it back off. Yeah, that went just like that, in that little notch. Want to lose nothing. See, I reckon I need to let that lay that down. Clean this spool and take this string off. That's probably about a four-pound test, but it's been on there yeah, ever since two uh, seventy-one, I guess. I guess I'll pull that string off. careful how a fishing string all over the porch. Find a stick or something to wrap it around. Got a piece of steel wool. Got the string off this reel. Wipe it down a little bit with that steel wool. Okay, what goes next? Let's see, one of these washers, I reckon. I think it probably was that one. The spool. Oh. Should have been a dial wall repair man. Should have been a dial wall repair man. Yes, sir, it works good. Check this pink rod out. Flash spinning reel. The rod that came with this die well, was a little short three foot thing, but I don't know why that won't work on there just fine.
some repairman I am. I left out part of it. This thing has to go in there. Japan's gonna be watching this video and say that dummy left out part of the reel that I put in there. A little bit stiffer with that thing in there, but it, re it reels pretty good. Good thing I remember to put that on there before that big old bass bit. Yeah, buddy.